Yeah, much. What is the best source of existing worker co-ops, which one can learn nuts and bolts from and possibly visit? Okay, there are many, many examples. There are people around the world. It's important that you understand what I propose is not some uh, utopian future that we can you know, cross our fingers that we'll maybe one day reach. It's already a reality. All around the world, people are opting out of the capitalist system with their feet. I'm going to give you a couple of examples to answer your question. The most famous example in the world, and one you can easily find out about, is called the Mondragon Cooperative Corporation. M-O-N-D-R-A-G-O-N, Mondragon. Mondragon is a small city in the north of Spain. It is the world's largest and most successful worker co-op. It is in fact a corporation now it is the seventh largest corporation in all of Spain. It is a family of about 200 individual worker co-ops. It started in 1956 when a Roman Catholic priest, Father Arismendi by name, in that city made a famous speech to his parish. And it went like this. If we wait for somebody to come in here and hire us, we will all die of old age before it ever happens. The north of Spain was a very, very poor part of a poor country. And so Father Arismendi proposed, let's not wait for some employer, some capitalist to come here. Let's be our own boss and start a worker co-op. So Father Arismendi, with six other parishioners, started a co-op. Fast forward to the present. It has grown spectacularly. It now encompasses more than 100,000 workers in these 200 worker co-ops. In each co-op, which by the way, there are manufacturing co-ops, uh, service co-ops, rural and urban, industrial and agricultural, and so on. In these co-ops, the workers make all the decisions collectively, democratically. For example, they hire supervisors. And at the end of the year, they evaluate supervisors. If they don't like how the supervisors supervise, the supervisors are fired. Notice, the supervisors don't hire the workers. It's the other way around. There's a rule they've adopted. The highest paid worker cannot get more than eight times what the lowest paid worker gets. In the United States, for a large corporation, the CEO gets roughly 300 times what an average worker gets. Therefore, they have eradicated inequality, or rather made it much, much narrower than anything that exists in the United States. It turns out that cooperatives can control and limit inequality in just the way we need in America, but don't have clue we ought to do it in a cooperative way. In California, around the Bay Area, there is a bakery and a cheese shop and a pizza joint. They're called the Arismendi Bakeries in honor of Father Arismendi of Spain. They went from one such cafe, such bakery, to five of them now in the Bay Area. They've been there for 30 years. They love visitors. So does the Mondragon Corporation. There are co-ops all over the world. The economy in which the co-ops play the largest role is the province of Emilia-Romagna in Italy, where roughly 40% of all enterprises are worker co-ops, and they've been that way for decades. So they're all over the place. Here in the United States, we have something called the United States Federation of Worker Co-ops. They maintain an active website presence, internet presence. They will provide you with all of the information you want about starting one, financing one, running one, expanding one, 
all of that is there are hundreds of uh, worker co-ops in the United States, thousands and thousands around the world. Let me conclude with this. The Mondragon Corporation has a special program. If you ever visit the north of Spain, they will gladly give you tours of their worker co-ops, allow you to con converse with co-op workers, find out why they love it. The Mondragon maintains its own university where they teach courses in how to start a co-op, how to run a co-op, how to finance a co-op. All of that technical uh, nuts and bolts information is well known, organized into coursework, curricula, and all of uh, the rest of it. And there are conferences all around the world, including the United States, where people moving in this direction help each other, talk to each other, provide each other with services. Uh, it, it's a remarkable movement. Uh, if you're interested, if what I've said today is of interest to you, we maintain a website also full of this kind of information. Uh, you can find it at very simply on the web, democracyatwork.info. Just go there. It's all available for free. Loads of ways to connect and link to other um, sources of information. All right, I'm putting this all up on the um, on the chat. 